We're in a, the final closes of, um, of the debut album, I'll call it. We're, we've had one or two records before, but nothing this sophisticated, should I say. Um, we've really thrown caution to the wind here. I started, I was introduced to another singer-songwriter in the town and um, well, we started making some music together and then one by one uh, other people started to become in when we needed other things, we needed a bass player so Simon entered the scene, <coughs> we needed fiddle so we, we, we managed to find Abby and she, she wanted to play the type of music we was interested in uh, and it happened like that and then um, people come in and gone again and we've just settled on this piece at the minute and we're really happy at the minute, it's working really well. Um, I play drum kit and percussion. Guitar, um, mandolin and banjo. At the moment it is electric bass. Um, I primarily play um, triple knot guitar. I heard Ben Folds 5 when I was 13 and thought they were amazing and loved the drummer and wanted to learn drums. Well, um, I started playing guitar when I was about 15. Uh, um, my dad just gave me an old acoustic guitar that he had and I, I couldn't play a thing. <laughs> so I, I sat strumming it for a couple of minutes and then thought I've got to learn something here. In school bands uh, playing bass from 19, 1981 onwards. I stopped playing for about 20 years at least in 87 when I started playing guitar. Found out I wasn't particularly good at that and just joined the band and started playing the bass again for that. So it's, I know, on and off, 25 years. Um, guitar most definitely started at, um, as most people did, at uh, secondary school, probably when I was 13, 14, something like that. Electric guitar. Poked into playing guitar again, told Daz about it um, as we did some training together and we just went from there. So yeah, we were practicing together beforehand and um, it's gone from there. So. Basically me and, me and Shane started as a duo in 2011. We rehearsed and rehearsed and we were scared of going out and playing. Um, and we, it, we had our first gig. We got these songs together and one of our friends um, was doing a charity night and I said, um, yeah, I'll play, we'll play. Here at the college and on the same night the Life and Times of were playing as well. And, and we played that night, we rehearsed a few songs for it and um, Darren asked us um, if we wouldn't mind playing a little bit with a band or, you know, um, just getting involved a, a bit. And then we, we had a few rehearsals and... Um, Darren just said, we'd really like a singer and another guitarist in the band. Why don't you, why don't you join? It took a few months before we actually came to a rehearsal, but that's how it started. Queen Talk with that devil's tongue, swing just like Joe Lewis done. Queen, you pound like John Henry did, cry just like your mama said. I was asked, um, I was asked a similar question a while back on an interview at not in not at, for a Nottingham radio um, show, and. One of the questions on the interview was the classic um, words first or melody when you when you write it. <laughs> mm, generally, well, obviously I put the bass lines in. Daz will give me a shout and let me know he's getting a new one, or he'll told Nina, and we kind of get together, maybe as a unit or ones and twos, and just come up with some ideas. Say, right, you're doing this. If I put this bit here, will that lead to there as you want it to, or do you need this to happen? It's um, mainly Darren obviously doing the majority of the writing, but yeah, with it being collaborative, we all do have an input and uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you. Darren has got a backlog of, <laughs> of songs and he brings them to us and plays them with his acoustic guitar or on the banjo if he's done that, and then we work around it. Sometimes he's got an idea of what he wants or we create what he wants and it seems to work because we seem to come up with the things that maybe he was thinking which shows that you gel really, really well. Well, we obviously Darren writes the majority of the stuff to begin with on guitar or banjo, um, and then the rest of us write our own parts, so I write whatever the percussion is and we arrange all the harmonies. So I do quite a lot of harmony work, really. Uh, of course, everybody's different. I seem, to, I seem to differ to a lot of people, and I'm more more poetry based. I'd have to say the words first and that, that contradicts a lot of what other people say and I, I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong. 
my drawn and smoking gun. So it was live and unsigned, 2012. Um, yeah, me and Shane, we saw it online. Thought, why don't we just have a go? It was for all kinds of music. It was strange, it was interesting, slightly worrying with some of the things that we heard. Just looking about for auditions or jobs or things like that, and I just thought, that's quite interesting. And I thought, you know, like not to really go all the way, but to get a, a, a bit of a um, head start, maybe. We thought, why not? We've, we hadn't been in the band that long, and we'd had a few uh, lineup changes as well around that time, and we were trying to find our feet and find a bit of direction. And we all knew we wanted to take it a bit further, so it just seemed like the ideal vehicle for that, really. Use that and get something out of it, you know, if we get through. So we all got together, learned, um, put together a small um, two-minute piece to go and perform at Live and Unsigned. It was nerve-wracking and everything, and um, we, we managed to go through, um, <laughs> like, considering how nervous we were. It was uh, it, uh, great. We uploaded a track. They warned us it would be six to eight months before it got a listen. Uh, so we waited our turn, we was um, patient. They played it, they emailed us to say they was playing it. Um, they raved about it, played it again, and again, <laughs> and then again, and again. Uh, <clears throat> and then they got hold of a couple more tracks from somewhere, they played those. Uh, we uploaded another one, they played that again, and again, and again. Uh, and they, um, from the strength of that, invited us into play a session, a live session for introducing, which is Never done that before. That was interesting. So is this the lineup that you're going to be gigging with, and are you, you going to do festivals and tours and stuff? We are. We're striving forward for festivals. We're lucky enough to be we've been offered a main stage slot of Baby Theory this year. So we. I noticed that. We, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're quite taken aback by that ourselves. We weren't quite expecting such uh, grandeur that early on. You know. Um, I, I'm, I, I think we're all confident enough in the music, but we're just not sure that enough people have heard it yet. Um, yeah. to warrant that spot, so we're really, we're really proud of getting that and we, we shall, we shall uh, do it. Well. <laughs> I do like Bearded Theory, it's a great festival, it's a really good yeah. vibe to it. Um, have you been before yourselves? Yeah. Yeah, well, we entered them um, live and unsigned last year and um, through that we, we were offered a slot at the Water's Edge stage last year um, and then it's through that that they offered us a slot this year. So yeah, we, we went last year and we had a really great time. We're a big fan of festivals anyway, but it's got a really lovely atmosphere. Welcoming. Yeah. It has, and they have a really interesting lineup, in, in, and obviously this year, including yourselves. So if, if I remember right, it was the Damned and Adam Ant were two of the things on last year. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and, uh, and then into that, I think Credits to the Nation was playing, and mm -hmm. uh, there was all sorts of things going on. personal to Darren really. Obviously it was all uh, sorted out before we came and it's that's what interested me as well about the band. It's all because of Darren's family. Um, as far as I know, Darren's grandma died um, and when Darren and his family were looking through her stuff in the attic. And there was a card from the, I believe the war office, that was like a memoriam card. It showed letters and photos and um, information about his um, nana's brother and they never knew these brothers had existed. Darren's grandma had never mentioned them before. Unfortunately, didn't make it back, and um, that was kind of hidden for, for years and years and years. And his grandmother had never mentioned it to anybody in the family, so it was a bit of a shock for everyone to hear that. The, li the life and times of the Brothers Hog sounds quite a jovial title, um, and, and it's a bit of a mouthful, granted. Um, but um, just in the thick of when I was starting to write some what I would consider serious music. Um, my grandmother passed away and um, in the midst of clearing things out um, and, and clearing a little bungalow out and was clearing our loft out as well at my mother's house and we found a box full of our old possessions and things and um, we found some letters 
the King's note saying that she had two brothers that were killed in the First World War. Um, and I don't know how my mother's side of the family feels, which is where my grandmother was from. But I certainly never knew that she had the two brothers. I mean, she had lots more brothers and sisters. I mean, she'd have been very, very young at the time. Um, but I never knew, and it was a shock. And to see these letters, and to see these handwritten notes, and to see these these death notes, if you want to call them that, um, it stuck in my throat. And it just so happened at the time, I was trying to think of a name for this collaboration of music and getting lyrics out. Um, and it just seemed to fit, and I didn't, I didn't ever want, and I still don't, want to glorify that. But I think it's right that people should know about these, these people, and that's, that sounds really contrived, but the idea is that um, we'll be asked, we'll be asked why the band's called this, and I'll be able to tell them about them two guys that nobody knew existed. You know, the fell for, for no reason, and um, that happens to hundreds of thousands of people a day. Um, we're now amending the title, anyway, I will not dwell on that, but we're now amending the title a little bit. We're still, that's what we're called. But to abbreviate, not just those two brothers, to include not just those two brothers, sorry, um, we're now going to be the life and times of the brothers' hog. We haven't cut any corners this time. We was a bit naive on the first EP and it's, uh, the songs are good. Um, and we've repeated one or two, rewritten them a little bit. But it was a little bit naive, we were new in the studio, uh, although we've been writing and playing for a very long time individually, it's the first time we were all together in the studio and I think we didn't particularly rush, but we didn't really have a clear understanding of what we wanted and, and we do now. Sounds great. It'll feature some of the songs from the earlier EP that the band did before me and Shane joined the band. Um, but they've been reworked, rejigged, um, and quite a lot of new tracks, things that we haven't even played at gigs yet. So it's quite a collection of stuff. This is the only experience of recording I've got. I'd like people to listen to it and go, do you know what, that's really good, it's different, it's interesting. It would be great to, um, for it to go out there and to, you know, maybe catch the eye of a few influential people, not, you know, majorly high or anything, but just somebody who could maybe um, get our album out there a, a bit, because I think it, it needs to be heard by people. Um, I, I, I love it, and I know I'm in the band, I'm going to love it, but I, I really do. Um, Darren's a great songwriter, and I think we gel very well together um, when we come to putting the songs together. I kind of like to work the other way around and I, I just write words. I write the words down, I think what I want to say, it has to be honest. I write it down whether it's a past experience or Greek mythology or something that's exciting me at the time. Sit down, write the poetry and amend it. It's, it's, it hasn't failed yet because there's never a time when a melody then doesn't say, oh that fits in here nicely. Our G is for Texas, T for Tennessee. T is for Texas, T for Tennessee. God bless that woman, she put a spell on me. She put a spell on me. Can't tell my future, Lord, I can't tell my past.